Oh, gory man in black. Let's check this one out, shall we? How's it going, YouTube? I hope you're all doing well. My name's Grant. This is 2 plus 2 equals fragrance. Welcome to the channel. If you enjoyed today's review, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And turn on your notifications so you'll be made aware of any future content. You can also follow me over on Instagram at 2 plus 2 equals fragrance. Here's a quick look at the bottle for Bulgari Man in Black. It's a really nice bottle this one I think. The atomizer does actually twist to the side. So you don't accidentally spray it. Obviously when you're spraying it you have it at the front. But yeah it's a nice heavy bottle. It looks really nice too I think. Bulgari Man in Black was released in 2014. The perfumer is Alberto Marias. It's an eau de parfum concentration and it's available in three main sizes. You can get the 60ml, the 100ml and the 150ml. Now the retail prices on this now are pretty steep. As are most fragrances these days, the prices are going up and up and up, the same as everything else. But I wouldn't advise getting it at retail anyway. If you did get this at retail, you're looking in the region of £81 for 60ml, £111 for 100ml and £126 for 150ml. But on discounted, you can generally knock between 20 and 40 quid off them prices, so that's the best way to go as always. These are the fragrance notes for Bulgari Man in Black. In the top, you've got rum, spices and tobacco. In the mid, you've got tuberose, iris and leather. And in the base, you've got benzoin, guyac wood and tonka bean. So I'll tell you what notes I'm picking up the most in Man in Black. When you first spray it on, you get hit with a lovely blast of rum and spices with a sweet tonka bean to balance it and smooth it out. They're the three main notes in this fragrance from start to finish to my nose. There's a lot of other notes in here that you do pick up, but they're subtle notes that just work in with them three main notes of rum, spices and tonka bean to just give the fragrance depth. Through the mid, you start to get little hints of tobacco, leather, iris and tuberose. All of these notes are in the background. The rum, spice and tonka just pushes this fragrance forward. The tobacco and the tuberose, they come and go really quick on my skin through the mid. But the iris remains and the leather remains just in the background, just supporting that rum, spice and tonka bean. As you move into the base, you start to pick up on a little bit of guyac wood and the tonka bean becomes a little bit more prominent. So you've got a little bit of added depth from that guy at wood, a little bit of woodiness, tiny little bit of smokiness to it as well. You've still got the leather and the iris, which gives this a nice smoothness and a classy feel. But it's that rum, spice and tonka bean what really drive this fragrance. The rum and the spices do calm down as the fragrance goes on. They're not as prominent as in the opening. The tonka bean becomes more prominent in the dry down but it's still that rum, spice and tonka bean what are the main notes you're going to pick up in this fragrance with just little hints of guyac wood, leather and the iris in the background as it dries down. But it's smooth from start to finish and it absolutely smells fantastic. Let's take a look at the performance of Bulgari Man in Black. On my skin, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible either. It's about average. I'm getting seven to eight hours longevity before it becomes a complete skin scent. The projection is average for about an hour and a half to two hours. Certainly not going to fill a room, but people will smell this on you, especially in the first two hours. So overall, it's just kind of an average performer, but that's fine because it smells absolutely amazing. Now, anyone can wear any fragrance anytime they like, like I always say. But what we're going to look at now is what age groups, what seasons and what occasions this fragrance is going to be most suitable for. So first we'll look at age groups. And I think this is fine for anyone, any age. A teenager could rock this. A guy in the 50s or 60s could rock this. Absolutely no problem. There's a little bit in there for everyone. There's a bit of sweetness. There's some booziness. There's spice, a bit of woodiness. It's got a classy feel. I don't think it matters what age you are for this one. You can just rock it. Moving on to seasons that this fragrance is going to work for the best. And it's definitely an autumn winter fragrance. Because it has got a darkness to it. It is spicy. It's boozy. There's that sweetness in there. I don't think this is going to work in the warm weather. Obviously, if you want to rock it in the warm weather, carry on. But for me personally, this is a cool weather fragrance. And occasions that this is going to work for the best, dressed up, dressed down, doesn't matter. Works fine casually. But it's got enough of a classy feel that if you're dressed up, shirt, tie, trousers, suit, whatever, you're going to smell absolutely amazing. 
any occasion, no problem. Versatile fragrance as long as it's worn in the cool weather. And are you going to get compliments with this fragrance? I'd be very surprised if you didn't get compliments with it. It's a very likeable DNA. It's mass appealing. You've got that sweetness, spiciness, booziness. People are going to compliment you on this one as long as they smell it. It's not a huge projector. Obviously, in the first couple of hours, it's the best chance of people smelling it and you're getting compliments. You could still get compliments after the two hour mark if people are coming closer to you. But obviously, it's not a room filling fragrance. So as long as people smell this one on you, maybe give it a few extra sprays than you usually would. I think you're probably going to get compliments with it. It's a beautiful fragrance. So my final thoughts on Bulgari Man in Black. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's smooth. It's classy. Smells of high quality. It's blended well. I love sweet, spicy fragrances anyway. It's not overly sweet, but there is a nice sweetness in there. Add the booziness into it and you've got a cold weather banger. I would highly, highly recommend this fragrance. Just get it on discounters because it's not a cheap one. <laughs> it's not at all a cheap one even on discounters, but you can get it cheaper than retail. So don't be going buying it at retail. Get it off discounters. Yeah, it's still not the cheapest, but to an extent you get what you pay for because it's a high quality fragrance. So they were my thoughts on Bulgari Man in Black. Absolute quality fragrance. What do you think about it? Do you agree with what I've said in my review? You love this fragrance? Or do you think it's had a bit too much hype? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. We'll get a conversation going. I love chatting to you guys and I always respond to your comments. As always, thanks a lot for taking your time out to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, keep smelling amazing.